what is good y'all it's your boy Ty back here with another video in this video today we're going to be doing an amethyst De'Aaron box gameplay who i personally think is one of the best budget point guards in the game but before we go any further if you are new to the channel and have not yet please smash the subscribe button as we're in the road to 40 000 subscribers now before we dive into the stats let's first look and see how much De'Aaron fox is going for because in this video i'll probably compare him a lot to a steve francis and a guy like donovan mitchell so before we go any further i gotta see okay his price is above 20k which i don't like to see okay so he's going for right about that 22 20k price range i mean you're still gonna have to pay a decent amount for De'Aaron fox so right around that 21 000 price range so that's just something that is important to not to know uh going into the gameplay so that he is a little bit more pricey than a guy like steve france but looking at fox here 6'3 175 or yeah 175 pounds that's crazy to me and a guy in the nba who is uh, weighs 175 pounds at six foot three wow 81 three ball 80 driving dunk 88 ball handle comes with an 85 steel 84 premium defense 97 speed speed ball as well as an acceleration and an 89 lateral quickness looking here at his driving dunk tendency which is a 95 very very solid right there defensive tendencies are pretty solid all the way around i do wish his on ball steel tendency was a little bit higher than it is does come with the hall of fame quick first step which is super super important especially on current gen with the, with the fact that you can still speed glitch the 20 gold badges include difficult shots fearless finisher acrobat ankle breaker interceptor tyler's defender hot shot pro touch bailout downhill needles under spot stop and go so you guys are seeing a lot of playmaking badges in there as well as silver dimer clam space grader floor general bronze handles for days now clamps can be upgraded but it's kind of a shame it doesn't come on gold as it is you probably want to apply a badge like catch and shoot on him uh highlight film possibly pickpocket pick dodger heart crusher intimidator like he is not a complete player he's really not he can get deep fades as well so when you fully badge him out if you give him let's say let's say you give him hot zone hunter uh deep threes and then you give him badges like pick dodger intimidator um and those those are the main ones i think you need as well as catch and shoot then he can be very very solid but he is still not going to be as complete in a sense as a donovan mitchell who can get upwards of 40 badges looking at De'Aaron fox here and he just looks like he looks tough just look at the i don't know and just there's just something about the way he looks that i absolutely love so let's see here what is what his tweens like coming up the court okay i don't love his dribble six coming up the court uh as well as in the half court in the half court they're not that bad i feel like you might be able to move with him in the half court better better than in the full court setting they're not terrible moves they're not incredible at the same time no so let's see here hot spots i wouldn't even give him high zone hunter to be completely honest with you considering he only has two hot spots around the perimeter and one's from that left corner where he won't be shooting very many shots so a lot of times on next gen obviously the releases are completely different from next gen to current gen a lot of the times they feel quicker and sometimes they feel slower and i would say De'Aaron fox's feels a little bit slower when you compare his release uh to the one on current gen so that's just something you're gonna have to consider is the release timing is going to change and for De'Aaron fox he's one that i feel like you got to hold it down a little bit longer than you might think some are quicker some you just have to hold down that a little bit longer and as you guys can see since I've made that adjustment, most of the time I've been greening shots since then with De'Aaron Fox, which is which is something you want to see. Now, with the Hall of Fame for quick first step, he is going to be tough. He's going to be tough to defend for a lot of the defense. Uh, you know, you've got to account for the fact that he has a smooth stroke. He's going to be able to knock down shots, as well as the fact that he still is going to have that Hall of Fame quick first step, a good mid-range pull-up, and everything like that. I think De'Aaron Fox is going to be super, super tough. And like I said, one of the best point guards in the game for under 25,000 MT. Looking at Fox on current gen, let's just see the dribble six. I don't really care about anything else, okay? Same dribble six, okay. You know, we know we know what he's going to give you as far as dribble six. But the one thing on, net, on current gen that I like is just look at the speed boost. That is absolutely incredible. And you can't really teach that, you know? Obviously, until 2K patches it, it's going to be one of the most overpowered things in the game. Obviously, I got the meter on right now, but this is going to be one of the most overpowered things in the game. Until 2K does something about it, that's something that on next gen, especially with Hall of Fame quick first step, that you can't account for. Where on current gen, that just makes this De'Aaron Fox so much more valuable. I'm excited to use De'Aaron Fox because quite honestly, guys, I think he, I don't, I don't know, I feel like he's not talked about enough. And I guess this guy I'm using has, or this guy I'm playing against has him too. But 
I feel like he's underrated. And I've not even used the card, and I already feel like he's underrated because you guys know how I value speed in this game. Just look at how fast his De'Aaron Fox is. It's absolutely crazy. Good Zion up to Fox. Chill, Fox up to Gransky. Give me a dunk, Grant. Put him in the rim. And De'Aaron Fox has two assists within the first 30 seconds of the game. And even on defense, he's got 97 speed, 89 lateral quickness. That's incredible. Now, I get he doesn't come with gold clamps, but that those defensive stats are just incredible. Chill. And just look at how fast he truly, truly is. Crossover. Easy one for De'Aaron Fox right there. Putting the team on his back early in this game. <laughs> no way. Good. Darren run. Over to Cam. He's got to stop leaving Cam Reddish wide open. Especially on next gen. I'm not going to miss very often with the card. Yeah, Steph's going to be way too slow to keep up with De'Aaron. To the cup. Dunking it on top of Rudy Gay. That's the energy I need from De'Aaron. You got Yao Ming on the court. I'm not guarding anybody. Good board run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody better contain De'Aaron. <laughs> Imagine me not shooting it. You're leaving me wide open. I get he might have dribbled the whole possession. But you can't leave him that wide open with the jumper they gave him. And we get a quit within the first quarter of the game. De'Aaron Fox was lights out within that first quarter of that My Team Unlimited game. Let's see how he competes in Triple Threat Online. Oh yeah, De'Aaron. Let's go. Let's go crazy. Come on, man. Ah, that's not green. I swear that was a perfect time, perfectly timed release. Good hand. Yo, you shot that. Oh yeah, up to De'Aaron. Chill. Last late. I just, it's a balancing act. The first one was early. That one was late. Now nah, I know his release. And hopefully I can green it from the, green green every shot the rest of the way. Good defense. Hand. Good. Oh yeah, we're moving. Great defense. Run. There it is. That's not green. Why am I missing shots with him? I'm just confused. I know his release. I really do. Come on, Brian. Give me one. I'm waiting with LeBron. Uh-oh. This is just not a good sign. Just run. Just run. You got half quick first step, 97 speed. What in the world is that, De'Aaron? You green. Thank you. Finally, I get a green from De'Aaron Fox. Nice mid-range jumper. I know what you... Sure, you can shoot it again. Just because I feel bad for you. Just because I feel bad for you because you got to play De'Aaron Fox. Running on the break. Get it up to a big two-handed slam. Running on the break and converting it on the other end. I'm saying you can just keep shooting it because I feel bad. I feel bad for you because you're playing De'Aaron Fox. Chill. Get it to him. Hey. That's a great move. Out to big Blake Griffin. And you know what Blake does. I wanna, I'm want. i a three hunt with De'Aaron in this possession. Never mind. Oh, my word. I was getting a three hunt. But I went straight to the cup with De'Aaron. And he postered Tyler Hero. That's fine. You can shoot it again. I'm not worried about you winning the game. I'm really not. Yes, sir. Get it to De'Aaron. Hey. To the cup. Once again, another contact slam. Oh, yeah, De'Aaron. Chill. Why am I getting pressed? Foul. Earlys. It's my fault. I know his release. Just shoot it. I don't care. You're not winning the game. Board. Oh, yeah. Look at Fox snagging the board over my Blake. Tween. Set the feet. Green. Thank you. Finally in rhythm with the Aaron Fox. Tween into a green. There we go. Just shoot it again. You can shoot as many jumpers as you want, Iman. I don't really care because you're not green. And you know who is green? Hold up. You know who is green? Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Send me another one. Blake, come here. You know who is green? That's a, I swear that's a fool. There it is. Finally agreeing with De'Aaron Fox. And there it is. Yeah, I've greened two out of my last three. Trying to figure out his release. And the one thing about De'Aaron Fox is he has such a smooth release. It's not the quickest, but it's smooth. Especially in a catch and shoot situation. If you give him range and catch and shoot, 
he should be pretty knocked down in those situations. And attacking the rim, he's going to do what he does. Looking at De'Aaron Fox here, 19 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist, 8 of 13 from the field and 3 of 7 from deep. Really, my biggest downfall was not greening with the card, but attacking the rim, he caught some bodies. Quite honestly, guys, I was impressed with the card. He played about as I thought he would with the 81 three ball. That's not super, super high, but at the same time, it's it's not terrible. When you compare De De'Aaron Fox to a guy like Steve Francis here, they're pretty similar. I'm not going to sit here and hype De'Aaron Fox up to, to another level. They're very, very similar cards. Now, the one thing I will say is I think I like De'Aaron Fox a little bit better just because he's overall faster badge-wise. I mean, they're pretty fairly similar all the way through. Uh, you know, that Steve Francis had three other favors, but they're pretty similar all the way through. I like De'Aaron Fox because he's faster, has the Hall of Fame quick first step. I think I'm more green with his release as well. Now, when you compare De'Aaron Fox to Donovan Mitchell, in a sense, I feel like these guys are literally clones of each other. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to compare them uh, because Donovan Mitchell is a shooting guard. But you look at it. Donovan Mitchell has a little better three ball, a little worse speed, speed ball acceleration. Pretty sure they both have 89 lateral quickness. Both have quick first step. Literally are basically the same player and basically are going to go for about the same price. So it's just preference between the two. Badged up Donovan Mitchell fully is going to be better than a fully badged out De'Aaron Fox just because he has more total badges but their base cards I don't know who I'm taking De'Aaron Fox is very very comparable to Donovan Mitchell but that's gonna wrap it up for the video I hope you guys did enjoy it drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man I love you guys and have a blessed day